Hey guys, this is News Now of Preston along with News Now, Nef uh, News Now Nephew. We are on the scene of a shooting at the, Ma at the Marathon gas station on uh, John A. Morrow Boulevard. It happened over there. I'm gonna go in front of the tape. How you doing, ma'am? Uh, somebody. The driver? How you doing? Again, guys, we're on the scene of a shooting at a Marathon gas station on John A. Merritt. We have three or four crime scene vans out here. All kinds of metro. And there's a dead body over there. Hey, come over here. So this turned out to be a fatal. It's a body bag. You want to get a shot of it? So guys, this turned out to be a fatal shooting. Yeah, we're gonna record it. You can see the redness right there where the blood's at. Right there. Oh well, come on. This side with the body. Oh, I'm not the camera. See, so you get right here. Right here, you can do good. Right there. Let's see if there's a sergeant around. Hey, officer. Is there a, is there a sergeant? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you was with him. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, guys, this turned out to be a fatal shooting at the corner of John A. Merritt and Jefferson Street at the Marathon. I'm going right here on this side of the cop car. I ain't going over towards them. But yeah guys, this turned out to be a fatal shooting. I don't know the details on it. Uh, they've encrypted our scanners here completely. There is no communications from Metro or the fire department anymore. And uh, you we're having to come across, as you can see, they're putting uh, the black um, thing over the body right there. But again, they've encrypted our uh, scanners now, so we have no access to any media. I mean, uh, no media, not even local media, has access to uh, what's going on, other than what we can see and what we come across. Again, I'm here with News Now Nephew. What's up? Please go like, subscribe to his channel. Again, guys, this is uh, this turned out to be a fatal.
like how to put your hand over it, it'll block out a little bit of it, but not much. It's never, never bad. I do not see a sergeant on scene. Oh, okay. See if I can speak to the sergeant over here. Hey, Sarge. Can you? I'm sorry. Okay, that's why I just want to ask you if you had any statements. That's all I was want to figure out. Thank you. He said he he's he's not giving out any statements right now. Uploader, it might look better. I'm not sure though. When the last one you did, when you uploaded, it turned out better than what it did when you recorded it. So. What precinct is this? What precinct? What precinct? North? Thank you. Okay, guys, it's on the North Precinct Metro Police Department. I think you got a uh, detector. Nice. That officer's giving them a ride home. That is real nice of them. You don't see that very often, but the police officer is giving them a ride home. You very rarely see that. Yeah, he said he said hop in the car. I'll give y'all a ride home. You very rarely see that. Yeah, it's a possibility. Channel 4 is supposed to be on its way out here. Uh, 
But like I said, guys, before I got interrupted over there when uh, somebody was talking to me, not nephew, but somebody over there was, they finally encrypted all of the police frequencies and the fire department frequencies. So the way media and I get our information is through the CAD. And that's how we found out that this was a shooting. It did not say fatal, but, you know, it did say a shooting. But when you come to a scene, you see a yellow body bag, you know it's a fatal. I'm trying to see if I see any uh, shell casing markings, which I don't. Oh, they probably haven't put them up yet. Yeah, they probably haven't put the shell casings up yet. Yeah, the, they, they have to wait for the medical examiner. All these officers will leave, and they'll leave one uh, police officer on scene. Usually, that's how they work. After the detectives uh, get through interviewing and looking at the scene. Oh, wow, there's an Allied security vehicle over there, guys. Might be for the store. Wow. You think I want to have a store? I wonder if they're the ones that shot the person. We'll find out here in a minute. We'll see where the detectives go to look at next for evidence. That car with the lights on probably was a witness. Oh, oh, the victim's car? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a possibility. Uh, there's a deceased person down here from the shooting. As you can see, yep. under there is a yellow uh, thing. We heard one that we seen on the bed. Yeah, they even took it. Upstairs. Oh, you was up there? Oh. You see it? See where that black uh, thing is? Mm -hmm. Oh, like we got and see how. Better, I got my kids on it. See how better it looks. Yeah. You get a better picture. Yeah, I got the kids on. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> a lot See of people, it, a lot of people didn't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take the video. Yeah. Yeah, in a body bag. In a body bag, he said. Right in front of the guy is right beside his car. Uh, the car door is wide open on the driver's side, and the body is laying in front of the um, driver's side door. So evidently. You guys need to tag me in this video. <laughs> well, I will. I'll tag you now. <laughs> I don't know how good you can zoom in, but if you... Well, if, I'm on Facebook Messenger. Okay, but if you can tell him to look towards... Can you see uh, where this, right can towards... You see my hand? Yeah. Tell him to look right there where that cop car is right there. Right where the then police Then scroll is over coming. a little bit over, you can see where it. the headlight's at on the car, and then look down to see the yellow body bag. Can you see the yellow body bag? Yeah, I can see it. Videotape, but okay. okay, love you. Bye. Yeah, we're journalists and they've uh, encrypted all the scanners now for fire department or anything. So now us journalists has to come up on something or hear it and then waste our time to figure out what's going on. Yeah. I didn't even know this was fatal until we just got here. Hey, uh, was y'all here when the shooting happened? Oh, I was going to say to y'all, because to me it looks like the guy got shot in the car because the car door is wide open and the body's beside it. The dude just come up on him and shot him in the head. A dude got killed. What's his name? Yeah. What's his name? 
Yeah, before uh, you came over here, before they put the black thing, you could just see the whole, I mean, it was, you could see the whole body bag down there. Wow, that's fucked up. I see you guys from up there, and I knew you was somebody. Yeah, like, we're, okay. uh, we're if journalists. they're down there, I'm coming <laughs> down. I know I'll be safe. <laughs> yeah, it's journalists. We're I journalists. I told my husband, I says, I'm going to go around and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I told my kids, they came over and visited us, and we moved in Monday, and we was told never to come to this store. Yeah, and I told is... my kids about it, and they didn't like the area. They said, Mom, I'm, we're not staying the night. We're going somewhere else. Wow. And I just called them to let them know, hey, guess what? <laughs> there was a shooting. Wow. I woke up to it. We upload um, our stuff to uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a card, and he's got his cards with him, and you can check the beginning when we first got here if you would like. Yes, you know. most definitely. You got your cards on you? Here, hold my phone, and I'll go get her a card real quick. I'll get you. Hold my phone uh, right there. This is his card. I'll go get mine, and I'll be right back. Like I said, I was up on the balcony and I seen you guys and I knew, I yeah, knew. Yeah, hey, yeah. they're safe. I'll go down. We go to a lot of these. This there's, is my first. There's so many of them we've been to. Now, with something like this, this is my first. What I used to be with first responders with car accidents and stuff like that, but never seen. Oh, you was the EMT? Mm -hmm. Wow. Huh? You retired from it? No, me and my ex-husband divorced when he went to Iraq, mm -hmm. and I like just got out of it. Uh, I've been wanting to become a paramedic or UNT. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. Well, I gotta get my high school diploma first. I'm working. <laughs> I'm working on that now. I'm trying to get into school. There you go. Take, uh, you can look at it and see from the beginning. Okay. And what was your name? I'm Miss Spires, Rhonda Spires. Oh, you have to be Rhonda. Rhonda. Okay. Oh, she, she, she's a, uh, she's an EMT. She used to be an EMT. Oh, this is Rhonda. I guess they don't know so they're fading. to get some video and those people over there were like I don't want to hang out over there on that side and <laughs> they were cussing out the cops and everything yeah they do I probably can Yeah. I mean, 
mean, they have to wait. Once the CSI leaves, then they'll bring the medical examiner in, and then you'll see them load the body up in the van. Can you stay here for that? It doesn't have long it takes. In these four days? No, I called him. If you want to try calling him, you can. It's 615-353-2331. Oh, sorry. It's hard for me to see without my glasses. Okay, And just tell him that you're over here at... That way you can still record. Yeah, I told you about the shooting. It is a fatal. There is a body laying down here in the parking lot of the uh, Marathon at 2801 um, John A. Meredith. I'm going to call you and told you about it earlier. And uh, according to witnesses, somebody pulled up, shot the guy through the chin, and it went out the door. So they got his body laying here. He was in his car. His car door was wide open, and his body was on the ground in a uh, yellow uh, body bag. So I don't know if you want to see anybody out there. It's the 2801 down in the middle of Down in the middle of 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 the middle Silence the scanners we used to go to. We've been on, you look at our channels, you'll see we got a lot of views. So we would not. YouTube took my channel down and I had to read up Yeah, he's just now restarting back, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, within one week, we covered six years within one week. Did you get the land over there by Harden Place? Yeah, we covered that one. Because, see, we live in the motel. Mm -hmm. Where that guy got thrown out of the court mm -hmm. was a friend of mine's best friend. Oh, wow. But yeah, we covered that one. Yeah, so we gotta check that one. Yep. <laughs> And you would think with Allied security right there, you would think that they would have stopped it. But, you actually some of my audits I've done on uh, Allied, they do not know the law and their security guards. Mm. Oh, yeah, me too. It is. If you go on every on YouTube and you Google Allied Security <laughs> First Amendment <laughs> Audits, you will see how they react towards cameras and stuff. They are very camera shy. Then they call the police every time and the police tells them they have the right to record. You have the right to record anywhere in public. Like I can't go past this, but like here I'm good. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But when you hit our channels, hit the subscribe, and then hit the little bell on the right. It'll have pop a notification that says all, so it says so forth, hit all. And then that way you'll get notified whenever we upload something, that you get it immediately. And if I, I can go live, he can't right now because he's not got subscribers. Right. But when I go live, you'll automatically get it, and you'll see me actually talking, and you'll see on the, on the camera when I'm yeah. talking, you'll see the words that people are asking me about, and so forth and so forth. I think what's got those people over in that corner over there is really ticked off because they're letting the body lay there during the whole period of time. I think that's what it is. Who was that one? Um, yeah, he was in the one on Kroger's. Yeah. Who was that shooting on Kroger's where that got shot in the parking lot? They waited 12 hours to come up with something to get that body. Yeah. 12 hours. Yeah. 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 And then I myself covered one on Green Street a while back, and my video, I think, is almost two hours long, and they still haven't had enough of them to take that woman's body. On Green Street? Mm -hmm. That's a bad news Yeah. It really is. Okay, I've already looking for me.
Alright, be nice safe. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> you too. Check out the channel. Oh, most definitely. I'm definitely going to check it out. Yeah, like I said, just hit the like, sub, and subscribe. And then make sure you hit the uh, notifications on all that way you get our videos. Okay, I will. He's usually with me. He's my partner, so he's usually with me. Okay. Where I go. You guys have a good night. You too, man. Be safe. Car. They said the guy walked up to him and took the gun and just shot him through his chin out of his head. The guy got shot in the car. They they came up, came back up to him and put a gun up under his uh, chin and pulled the trigger. Yeah, that's his car right there with the door open. Yeah. I'm gonna walk on the side and try to get a little bit of the detective brothers sitting over there. guys this this body there's blood like leaking all over the pavement I'm not going to sh I'm not going to show that but if you was here with me you will see there's like blood just pouring from this man's head and there's still got the body sitting out there guys <laughs> But according to what a, a witness said, he was sitting in his car and some gentleman came up and shot him through the chin and it went out his head. So, and there's one bullet casing. Yeah, there's two bullet casings. family just showed up. They got two uh, shell casing marking, markings. If you want to get some of those, they're right there. There's one under the driver tire, and then there's one in the parking lot right there. There's one right under the tire, and then there's one right in front of the metro cop car. That was the family member. I took my camera away as soon as I started screaming. So. Guys, I do apologize y'all hearing that scream, but I couldn't blur that scream out. I'm sorry. I guess somebody walked into the crime scene, I guess. I don't know how she got to walk through the crime scene. The, the relative of whoever, I don't see how she walked through the crime scene. Now they was all huddled in a huddle and they didn't see the person walk through the crime scene. So evidently they didn't have his head covered so she saw the head of the person. Evidently, that's why she screamed. Uh, then I don't know why she was screaming and how she knew it was her family. Some of them over there called her.
Because your phone was too blurry, I'm not sure what As soon as I heard her scream, I was over there. I got a picture of her right here, but as soon as I heard her scream, I zoomed my camera this way, so I don't get her after that. But so far, there's two casings, is all I can see. I'm not sure where, I think, I'm pretty sure there's only two, because there's one, see? One right there, and then two right there. And unless that's one behind the, oh, that's the bag part. Okay, that's the body bag part. Yeah, I should have went live on this one. Should have. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if that's number one guys or number two beside the tire. So number one would be here. Okay, so number one, number two. So evidently the guy got shot here. Either that or the guy was shooting at the vehicle. And then when he got up on him, that was the kill shot right there. I don't see no glass blown out. I don't see any bullet holes in the car. But according to an on-scene witness, they said that some guy just walked up and shot him in the chin. Hey, officer, is there a sergeant on scene? Sure. Uh, not the black gentleman. Is there another one? Not that I'm aware of. Sir. Okay. I was just trying to see if someone could give me an update. I'm local media, and I just want to get an update. And I know sergeants usually give it, <laughs> so I wasn't for sure. Oh, you got an Uber coming through your crime scene, buddy. You got an Uber or a Lyft trying to come through the crime scene over here, guys. Like, they're really going to make it through a crime scene. Really? There's going to be a wreck right there. like a traffic officer. He's a sergeant. Uh, he has to be a tra probably a detective. And he, look at that Jeep he's driving though. like that unless it's traffic. I know the other tech said you're a little too late or something. And he says what unit do you represent or something like that. That's not a gang unit. <laughs> He's a sergeant. I know he's got three stripes. I've never seen Metro have the yellow vest like that before. Oh, 
Oh, that's the guy that responded to the call at um, Brinks. Russo or something like that. At least that's who he looks like. There's a sergeant over there. Yeah, we will. We're gonna be here at least another 20 minutes and then we'll go. And then when you decide to when you decide to load it, I'll do like I did last time, put them all together and make it a whole video. Yeah, I can add them, put them together. You can put those two videos together and get one video, and then if you need to record, you can make it a one whole full video. All you want to do is shut it, however you want to do it. Yeah, I'm trying to explain to uh, News Now Nephew on how to edit videos. He ain't never edited them before, so I was trying to explain to him on how to do it. That would be a detective truck. No, I'm just getting over here some pictures of the cars. I'm right here. Oh wow, that's a Honda Honda Genesis. That's what that car is, a Honda Genesis. They got a, a Hyundai Genesis over there as a fleet as a detective's car. That's why I was doing pictures of the cars. Huh. What? Yeah, usually. Yeah. I don't even, I don't even know where the table came at. Yeah. This is patrol office. I gotta get that off his name when uh, he comes back. The big tall guy that I was talking to. I forgot to ask his. Yeah, I forgot to get his name and employee number.
That was my bad on that one, guys. I totally forgot to get his name and employee number. I really forgot the sergeant, but the sergeant's... Okay, he's over there. I'll get his name if I can. And look again, no local media showed up. Huh? We're here, though. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, no local media showed up. We called them and they never showed up. So we're the local media now. It's been for a minute. Yeah, for a minute. Oh, yeah, now I see it, okay. Probably did. That's why they told no one to leave over there. Whatchamacallit? This is North Precinct. Yeah, guys, as, as, as the eye can see, there's only two uh, shell casings. There's number two. And there's number one. Straight through there and go straight through the front door. See how fast you get and how far you get. Mm He thought he'd be a sergeant. Oh, he's CSI. Okay. I want to see if this sergeant right here will give me an update before he leaves, but... I don't think they will. They don't like they want to. I know that uh, black gentleman didn't want to give me no statements. <clears throat> huh? Two stripes. Two stripes is a field training officer. He's got two stripes. He's got two. He's got three. And he's a sergeant. That's hard to tell. I mean, as soon as the sergeant turns around, I'll flag him over here and see if he'll give me an update. Well, they're talking right now. Hey, Sergeant. 
Yeah, he's talking to him right now. Sergeant Patrick. Well, I was, he looked at me and I was trying to flag him over here, but he's talking to him right now. They're probably going to go and talk to some of them up there because they're pointing up towards that apartment complex up there. That up there? No, she was telling the other, she was telling the other tip to stay inside the store. Oh. This is an officer's name. Hey, officer. Officer. Can I get your name and employee number since I interacted with you earlier? I'm sorry, say it again. Can I get your name and employee if number? You want, if you want any information, you can. No, your information. Sergeant, your okay. information. Uh, I'm Officer Foot. Okay. Foot? Yes, sir. And your employee number? It's 400145. Thank you. That's yep. all I was asking. No, I wasn't asking about this. Okay. Officer Foot. Hmm. You're like, I can't answer no questions. I wasn't asking you a question. I was just asking for your name and employee name because that's all I wanted. So, like, oh, okay. Hello? I just want to get a sergeant to give me an update. I don't know if they want to that. It's an ongoing investigation. Is she CSI or PIO? Oh, she's a detective? Okay. Yeah, she really does. See if you can um, video uh, like for a couple of seconds, let them know what happened instead of just like completely dying like that. No. Did you ever delete those other videos? That could be the problem. Okay. Did you delete those other videos recorded a couple of weeks back? Oh, I'm going to be here. See? Delete the ones we did at the, the audit, and then you should be able to record at least one more video. Three parts? No, 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 no. Just let them know what happened so you don't see them in like that. Keep what you just recorded, but then just delete the ones that you've already uploaded. Remember, uh, oh, right, so that's the best way to do it? Keep your video? Now you should be able to explain what happened and then if you want to, if you want to you can. You should be able to. Probably ten more minutes at the max. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be three Just explain all the things, explain what happened with your phone, you did this and sorry I wasn't trying to let y'all let y'all hang or whatever. I apologize, my phone died, so forth. Just explain to him what happened. Alright guys, uh, my phone, my, uh, video was breached, um, I did, like, I had to do the video, and then back here again, 
Sorry guys, uh, he's still new at this, so I'm trying to explain to him on how to handle his videos and stuff. I apologize, guys, but he's still new. We was all new before, you know. But all in all, he does good videos, guys. He really does. Probably another detective. Yeah, he's another detective. Hey, guys, sir. Pretty good. How are you, sir? Huh? Homicide unit. That guy right there, guys, walked up as a homicide unit officer. Did you say homicide? It's homicide. 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 homicide, homicide. <laughs> it's, just, it's just weird hearing somebody say it like that. That's all it was. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it really is. Hey guys, I'm going to attempt to talk to a sergeant here in a minute if one will become free. But to recap guys, if y'all just uh, looking at this video, uh, we came up on a, well actually, we seen on the CAD where it was a shooting. We did not know any information about it till we got till we got on scene. And uh, when we got on scene, they were putting the body bag over the victim of this homicide at the Marathon gas station at John A. Merritt Boulevard and Jefferson Street. Uh, there was two bullets. I'll see if I can get, let y'all see those again real quick. Uh, the first one is right there that's number one in front of the metro cruiser right there number two bullet casing is right there according to a witness that said the gentleman was at the store and another gentleman walked up and shot him in the chin out through the head according to the witness so that was instant death so we're just trying to get a sergeant to give me some information we do know it was a homicide fatal but that's as far as we know right now guys that's just a recap of what we know right now huh? i'd probably be quicker talking to this sergeant Guys, we don't know if the suspect is still at large or not. We're not sure on that one. Okay, what's that? Okay, what's that? 
That's the vic that's the victim's uh, relative right there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I didn't get her on camera, so. No, I'm recording there. No, I was like this. I didn't record her. See, that's as far as I go. She's not even in it. Oh, yeah. She ain't even done convincing nobody who she is. Because there are probably witnesses in there, could be the suspect in there, I'm assuming. What is what they're doing? That thing moving, I don't see anything. Oh, it's a video, it's video. It's recording the scene. It's like for sounds. Get him as soon as he turns around. As soon as he turns around, I'm gonna ask him. Probably the, the 360 cameras that goes around. So it's probably taking pictures of the whole area where we're standing at and everything. That's probably what it's doing. That's something I can think of. Hey, Sergeant, can you give an update? I, I can't right now. Not yet. Okay, I just I just want to know is the public okay? There's no suspect at large. Well, what, I'm sorry. Is there a suspect? I just want to know if the public's okay. Well, right now, we're still developing information. Right now, we're still developing information. Okay. More than likely, you'll, you'll have to wait for Don Aaron, okay. one of our PIOs, to put something out, just because we're still in the evidence collection and information gathering. Okay. Yeah, right I figured now. that. That's why I didn't bother y'all. I just no, I know, I want know. to know just, if the 
the public was at you know any danger or anything. We don't right think now. so at this time. Okay. Uh, I mean, obviously something changes. Yeah. We'll immediately put something out. Uh, but right now we have detectives reviewing the video, uh, possible video, and so once they get that, then they'll make their determination if they can get any witness statements. I don't. I don't know if they've talked to anybody inside the store who might have witnessed anything. Um, and if they did, then they'll take it into consideration if we need to put that out. If we think the suspect's going to be in harm's way, but I mean the public's going to be in harm's way by the suspect. My initial feeling is probably not. Okay. But I don't have enough information myself to say definitely yes or definitely no. Okay. So I, it's just a matter of we just have you guys just be patient. You know, oh yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're supposed to be out of here. I was just got to relay it to like the other news channels, yes, sir. and yes, sir. I was just didn't know if they was bugging me, wondering if there was a no, suspect at large or whatever. You got a job to do. I totally get it. Um, it's just right now they're still gathering information. I'm just one of the supervisors help manage resources on the scene. Okay. So right now, though, my understanding is we don't think that the public is in any danger, but we don't know what the relationship is between the people involved. Okay, and can I get your name and employee number? Yeah, it's Sergeant Robert Nielsen, 946, I'm sorry, I'm giving you my old number, 225810. Okay, and what precinct is this? This is north. I'm actually with the homicide unit. Okay. Which the homicide unit, I don't know if you know, we're countywide, uh, but this is actually north precinct. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you no so problem. much. No problem. I appreciate y'all's patience. Yeah, that's why I was, wasn't bothering y'all. No, 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 you guys have been great. Yeah, no, y'all been over no, in no. y'all's little huddle getting everything infoed and yeah, everything. Yeah, so. as we get additional resources showing up, we got to make certain that they're up to speed on whatever information we have at the time. So that's why it's not. It's never a fast process. Oh, yeah. You I've know, been on a couple like of them with y'all before. <laughs> All right. So. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You gentlemen have a good night. You too. You too. Okay, guys. There you go. You have it. It's a, uh ongoing investigation. The public, they're saying... As far as he knows right now, that the public is safe. So far, so far, we know that everything's all right. That everything's in check. Hey, there, Nasser. Hey, I'm so I'm curious, guys. What is that drink like? What is it? It's it's like a scanner, sort of like maps. So it's like a 3D, like a 3D scanner. I'm not a, I, I've never used one, so I'm not exactly familiar. But. I told him it's probably more like like a 360 camera yeah. that just gets everything around. Yeah, and so pretty forth. much, but I, I think it has the ability to like map things, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Can I get your name and employee number? I'm, I'm Officer DeMars. DeMars? DeMars, 352166, sir. Thank you. And you are to the North Precinct? Yeah, I'm with the North. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Be, nice. Be safe. Be safe. Okay, guys, there you go. It was a uh, ongoing homicide. They don't know if the suspect is still at large or not, and we're stuck here. Oh. Okay, guys, this is News Now Preston. I'm signing off. I'm here with uh, News Now Nephew. Please go like, sub, and subscribe to his channel. He needs, uh, he needs the subs. And as soon as I get to my car, we will be out of here. It's locked. Getting y'all one last view of this real quick. Again, guys, the homicide detective said that it's still an ongoing situation. They're reviewing the cameras and they do not know if the suspect is still at large. Again, this is at John Merritt Boulevard and Jefferson Street at the Marathon, 2801. Put me on there, man. Hey, man you on there, man? man. Fuck what you're talking about. There you go, guys. Boy, There's some people that's been on going that. on here. Fuck what you record. <laughs> Y'all be safe, guys. News Now, uh, Preston signing off.